Hey Boosters, it's great to see all of you again today. I'd like to pick up on the theme that we ended with last week and that is constant peace and how that we can have that peace as we tap into the presence of God in our lives. Now when you think about that, I'd like you to consider the idea of a frequency. There are all kinds of frequencies floating around in our world. We have uh, radio frequencies, we have satellite frequencies for example. And even though we can't see them, if we have the right channel, we can tap into them. If we have the right connection through Jesus Christ who makes us right with the Father, we can tap into the Spirit. The Spirit then begins to reside in our life and give us the power that we need to be at rest. Now last week in the message that we had here at DeKalb Wesleyan, we gave an illustration that I would just like to explore a little bit more this morning before we close, and that is the illustration of Jesus being with his disciples on the Sea of Galilee in the midst of a storm and these disciples many of them are professional fishermen and they're very very frightened they have faced storms before but this one is of gale force and Jesus is sleeping in the boat and they awake Jesus they, they get him up and they say no Lord don't you care that we're gonna drown and, and the question that we explore is why was Jesus able to rest why was Jesus at peace in the midst of this storm it was because he was tapped into the right frequency he was tapped into his Father. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him, we find in Luke chapter 4, to preach good news. And so the Holy Spirit is working in Jesus' life, and so he had this constant resource of strength. And then we looked at how that in Acts chapter 12 later on, how that King Herod Agrippa had beheaded the Apostle James, and how that the Jewish people were very happy about that, and he wanted to please them, so he arrested, the, he arrested Peter, another apostle. And he decided that he was going to execute him as well after Passover. And after Passover had been completed, near that time, Peter was in jail and, and he was about ready to face his execution the next day. And, and while he was there in jail, under guard, an angel goes in and awakens him. The scripture says that he actually struck Peter in the sun. And we were sharing about how that maybe... Peter had learned from Jesus in the boat back in that storm. Maybe there's something Peter gleaned there because he was able to rest in the midst of the storm of his life, the facing of that execution. Are you able to rest in the midst of your storms? Where do you find your strength in your life? And so Peter was able to tap in to a resource that is beyond our understanding in this world. The Apostle Paul talks about that peace. He mentions how that we can have a peace that passes understanding. He said, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, give your requests to God, and the peace that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I trust today that you're tapped into the frequency of God's Spirit. God bless and have a great day. Your love.